Jay Ward, a journalism giant, has died. Ben Bradley, the former editor of the Washington Post, is being remembered tonight for leading the coverage of some of the nation's biggest political scandals. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair spoke with former White House correspondent Luke Cannon about Bradley's legacy. And Tracy, he just must have tons of stories about that. He does, and we did not have enough time, but you, you've <laughs> got to sit around with him and get and those listen stories. to the stories. He's yeah. got a lot. Uh, Luke Cannon was hired by Ben Bradley after writing a book about Ronald Reagan. Cannon remembers vividly how Bradley would roll up his sleeves during crunch time. Ben Bradley's name is synonymous with journalism, the kind that printed the Pentagon Papers and helped show Nixon the door. I can't do the reporting for my reporters, which means I have to trust them. Actor Jason Robards immortalized Bradley on screen by portraying him in All the President's Men. When Bradley was the managing editor of the Washington Post, the paper won 19 Pulitzers. Those of us who were fortunate enough to work for him knew him as an editor who was uh, inspirational. Ben wasn't a guy who uh, did a lot of hands-on stuff or day-to-day -day editing, but when the chips were down, you could always count on Ben. Local journalist Luke Cannon remembers how Bradley had his back on controversial stories. Ben came out of his office, put his arm around my shoulder and walked through the newsroom with me all the time telling me, telling me to, to, that I had better keep my head down and be careful. He had Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein's backs, too, when they covered the break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters that led to President Richard Nixon's resignation. It uh, didn't buckle under when, 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 when Nixon was, was essentially trying to, trying to terrorize us. People don't tell the truth. They don't tell the truth in a hundred different ways, and, and, and it's become so easy to lie. Bradley was also a World War II veteran and a Harvard grad. In later years, Cannon said he suffered from Alzheimer's, but that didn't stop him from receiving the Medal of Freedom last year. His reporters say journalism won't be the same without him. And although Bradley suffered from Alzheimer's, he died at his Washington, D.C. home of natural causes. He was 93 years old. CJ. It is a great, great loss. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Tracy.